Okay, what we're going to do first of all, these are the components that I'm going to be using. I've got a cutting board, a ruler, a straight edge of some sort, the actual coat amount, and in this case I'm using a vinyl coat amount, but it same uh, process pertains for all of them. And then I've got my print, which is slightly larger than what the coat amount would be. If you use a thin board like this, they're actually the same size. So for example, 12 by 18 is actually 12 by 18. If you get the larger mounts or the thicker mounts, either the three quarters or one and a half, you'll find that they're one quarter inch uh, shorter on each end. So you, you've got to consider an extra half an inch. So you'd make your print either larger or just trim it down to that size. So the first step I'm going to do is to trim one corner so that it's flush to the image and that lets me align the corner right here on the corner of the coat amount. So I'll take this guy and trim this one down. Okay, so now the print is trimmed flush to one corner, and that's the corner I'm going to put here. This will also help me to align the far edge on each side. So let me turn this guy so you can see him. Move this out of the way. So I'm going to line up the print to the coat amount and just double check that the edges on each side are where I want them to be. So I don't have any white sticking out there or I'm not going to trim uh, more of the image than I want to trim. With the image set like this, I'm going to get some cotton gloves to put on so I'm not handling the image with my fingers. And let me just take a minute and do that. Okay, almost starting again here. What I need to do once I align the image is to hold the image flat. And this is kind of critical, a little bit tricky, because the covering on the adhesive portion of the coat amount is a little bit slick. So it's, it's easy to turn it if you're not careful. So once I've got it lined up, what I need to do is to trim a little bit of the edge right here. The amount that you trim is not that critical in one sense. If you get everything right and you don't make a mistake in laying it down, it's going to be fine. You can cut half an inch or one inch. But I've found that if I do make a mistake and let this end drop and it's not quite aligned, pulling it up after you've got a real thick margin cut here is going to be very difficult to correct. So I'm just going to trim about one half inch off of here. And what I'm doing is scoring it. And then I'm going to lift one corner of the short edge and the long edge right here just so I can curl it back and get it out of the way. I'll just bend that back a little bit and do the same thing for this edge. So I've got those two edges pulled up and this is just convenient so that when I start to pull the rest of it up I'm actually able to grab that edge. So I'll just tip that down a little bit. And this is where our alignment pays off. Got it set like that. I want to hold that down nice and firm. I'm going to pull this end up here and then pick up the short edge that I trimmed. Now this is all adhesive right here. Lay it down, press it, and, and it's a done deal. So you got to be real careful. I'm going to lay it down from the center, swipe along here and along there. At this point, it's all done. The mount is set. So the only thing you have to be careful about is pulling it back and taking the air bubbles out. Let's switch my glove over to this hand. And by taking it off here, it makes it a little bit easier for me to grab this one piece that I've curled back. I'm going to pull this back, reach for that little corner that I peeled up, and very carefully pull it up like so, exposing the adhesive. If I lay this here, I'm really holding it up by the curve right here. I'm going to start from the center and push out and back and forth. And I'm peeling back the adhesive cover as I do that. By going back and forth and smoothing it out, you're making sure that the air bubbles 
are getting out of the way. Now, is there any advantage to having a non-slick surface on here? Sure, sure. So yeah. it doesn't slide around. So you wouldn't like have anything sliding around. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And at the end, I usually start at the center, go out to the corner, and then just come down as I'm pulling out the cover to get the last piece out. So at this point, what you need to do is turn this guy over and trim it out. When you're using a thin mount like this, just about any uh, cutter will do. What you're going to do is cut 90 degrees straight down and right up against the edge of the vinyl. I'm not cutting, I'm just showing you this. You cut right along the edge of the vinyl. What I would do with something thin like this is also take my straight edge and put it on there. With the thicker boards, what usually works better is a nice thick knife, a thick blade, because you can actually lay the blade right up against the edge of the foam and it helps you to keep it straight. With something like this, it's too easy just to jump over, so I'm just going to use the straight edge as well. Put this guy here like that. And the same with the other side. There you go, there's the finished print. This one was off just a little bit, as you can see right here, but that's just my alignment. But that's as easy as it is to use the coat amount. And of course, if you're mounting this uh, in a frame, you're gonna cut in another quarter inch so it won't show the edging, but you, you do wanna be a little bit more careful. And uh, do use cotton gloves, even though I started without it, because this is just a demonstration, but using the cotton gloves, make sure that your skin oils don't transfer over to the image. And usually what I do before, after the image is printed and before I mount it, I will spray, uh, spray it with a protective spray. So that should do it. If you have any questions, just give Conrad or me a call. Thank you, Chuck. Easy enough.